A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts for your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord Lend me three loaves. Jesus, as a rabbi, does not preach from an ivory tower. He is in touch with the goings-on in a typical Jewish village. He knows the solidarity among neighbors who ask and receive favors from one another. Jesus tells the story of one villager who has nothing to feed a friend arriving from a journey. The host does not think twice about approaching his neighbor even if it's already midnight, despite the reluctance on the part of his neighbor, whose whole family is already asleep. The host believes that his neighbor will rise to give him three loaves of bread out of their friendship, or, as Jesus says, because of his persistence. The host shows humility in approaching his neighbor at such a late hour. And the neighbor responds with his sense of compassion and solidarity for his needy friend. Jesus points out that if such a generous spirit is found among human beings, God, who is infinite in wisdom and mercy, will answer our prayers in God's perfect time. Are we ready to receive God's answer when God says, Wait, no, or I'm giving you something better? 